Hello, Hofstra fans, and welcome to the WB Mason Coaches Report with head men's lacrosse coach Seth Tierney. Seth, how are you doing today? Doing okay. Looking forward to a new week here. Yeah, uh, definitely. Definitely on this end, too. Uh, tough, tough loss to start the season, 19-18 in overtime against St. John's. Uh, you know, given uh, how are you feeling, you know, thinking back on that game? Yeah, I mean, we got a lot of regrets. Uh, we did not play with the composure, the poise, um, the sense of urgency that, you know, I thought this team would have had. And they kind of shown, uh, you know, in practice. So, uh, again, credit to St. John's. Uh, it was a high scoring game. Sometimes you got to win some of those and you got to learn how to win a low scoring game. Um, and uh, but it was we were plagued by self-imposed mistakes. Uh, credit St. John's for doing what they did, but we are responsible for us. And after watching the film uh, a few times this weekend, um, you know, there are things that are clear that were uncharacteristic of the day and uh, no excuses. We, we lost, we need to own it and we need to get back out there today and get back to how we do things here at Hofstra. Yeah. Uh, you know, 29 total turnovers from Hofstra. That's, you know, that's a number that you never wanted to, to get that high with turnovers. Uh, you know, I know it's been spoken to death about Ryan Tierney's performance, but eight goals, three assists, 11 points, so many, uh, such elite, you know, former Hofstra players that he's joined in, you know, goals, goals in a game and points in a game, uh, you know, Looking back at the film, uh, what can you say about the performance that Ryan put up on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, Ryan Ryan played very well. Uh, he was focused. Um, you know, I, he made some mistakes as well, uh, and we'll cover them in practice. Uh, you know, just because you you score, uh, you have eleven points. That doesn't that doesn't isolate you from, you know, some of the mistakes and, and he lost the ball one time and we got a moving pick at one time. Uh, certainly his positives outweighed his negatives and his poise, his composure. Um, we needed that to be more addictive and, and it wasn't all over the field. Um, so uh, as a coach, uh, you know, listen, he shot the ball. Well, he shot the ball efficient. He put the ball on the goal. Uh, he made his teammates better. Uh, I think he also had two or three second assists that, again, it's not a, a legit stat, but it's important to us. So to have his hand, uh, you know, in what would be maybe 14 of the 18 goals or 13 of the 18 goals, um, that's pretty good. Right. And uh, so we're, we're, we're thrilled about that, that he, you know, he was a, he was a good teammate. He worked hard. And, uh, and again, um, I have not spoken to Ryan since the game, Um you know, he's very much like me, you know, he would rather have no points and a win than 11 points and a loss. So, uh, but we'll, uh, we'll see each other at practice today and, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll, uh, we'll go through the game with the rest of the team. And then uh, eventually we're going to have to cut it loose and start to just heal and get Hofstra back. Yeah. Yeah. You know, one of the things that uh, I spoke with uh, former head men's lacrosse coach at Hofstra, John, John Donowski, a couple months ago, and he mentioned uh, a lot of guys, you know, on that, uh, on his and, and your USA gold medal staff doing a lot of the things that don't show up in the stats book, you know, the second assists, uh, those, those kind of grinder stats. And it's good to see that you, you identify Ryan uh, getting into those, you know, second, those secondary assists, getting into some of those stats that don't show up on the scorebook. Yeah, no, I mean, listen, uh, you know, as I talk about it with my staff, this game is one in the gray. Um, it's things that don't show up in the stat book. And, you know, um, and, and that's one of those scenarios. So the ride backs, uh, the one mores, uh, the second assist, all those things that when you become a coach, those are the things that you look for when you're watching any sporting event, you know, the easy or the simple things or the goals, the assist, you know, those types of stats. Um, but yeah, no, him, him and, and, a, and a couple of his teammates, Alex Kincannon, Justin Linsky, both those guys, first time in, uh, in, the, in the white or the blue and the gold, uh, really proud of them. Riley Forte played well offensively and, and a couple other guys stood out. But as a whole, as a team, it was not the product that we were hoping for after a 340 day break uh, and coming out. So uh, we need to uh, we need to get back to work. And that's what something that we'll be doing at, at one o'clock today. 
Yeah, I definitely know that you and the coaching staff are going to have, you know, you're going to you're going to talk to your guys, get them, get everything sorted out. And then, like you said, get them, get them loose for, for the week. Uh, speaking of the coming week, uh, this Saturday is against Sacred Heart. You have not played them uh, in quite a while. Uh, they they opened their season this Saturday, too, with a loss to uh, Stony Brook. What can you say about uh, your upcoming opponent, Sacred Heart? Yeah. Just getting to know them again, Nick, you're right. I mean, it's got to be maybe even more than a decade. We haven't played Sacred Heart, and uh, uh, I did get a chance late last night to watch the uh, Stony Brook Sacred Heart game uh, just to get a feel for what they're like, what do they do. Um, and, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're obviously a new opponent. Uh, it's good because you, you, don't, you don't have any preconceived notions about them that you could take into it. we got to learn everything from the ground up. And that's what the exciting part is. But today um, and some of tomorrow will be Hofstra. And then we'll start to, uh, then we will push that boat away from the dock and burn it. And then we will, uh, and then we'll start to, to, you know, start to talk about the personnel of Sacred Heart, the game plan, and, uh, and what we need to do as a team. Uh, this will be a very much, this will be a Hofstra week uh, where we need to get better. And it's always going to be less about Sacred Heart and more about Hofstra. Yeah, that's good. You know, sometimes you need to iron out everything on your end before you can worry about the opponent. It's good to see that you're coming into this week with that mindset. This Saturday at 1 p.m. from Fairfield, Connecticut, Hofstra will take on Sacred Heart. You can follow all of Hofstra men's lacrosse action at gohofstra.com. For head coach Seth Tierney, I am Nick Kaptos, and thank you for joining us with this week's WB Mason Coaches Report.